The Jewish Week on JN1. The 10 days of the 19th Maccabiah passed in a flash for the 9,000 athletes who came from 78 countries to participate in the Jewish Olympics. And now it's time to say farewell with the grand closing ceremony the organizers have prepared, celebrating Israeli artists who have made it big internationally. So before we start with the celebrations, let's have a look at the scoreboard. Team Israel won the most medals with 184 total, followed by Team USA with 84 medals and Team Canada in third with only 14 medals. At the farewell cocktail, we met some of those medal winners and heard about their experience participating at the Maccabiah. This is my second Maccabi gold medal, second time in Israel. It's absolutely amazing. The experience, the whole time I've been here, it's life-changing. My teammates, the other nations and delegations, are it's just one family together. And even though we're competing, we're all competing with Israel and for this country as well. And it, it's just been awesome. I can't explain it any other way. feels great. Um, I expected more, a little, a little more to, uh, to get some more medals, but it's all right. Three is okay for me. We've been in Israel for two weeks now. Uh, as a rugby team, we've played four games. Uh, each one's been very tough. They've gotten tougher as they've progressed. And we've just, uh, defeat, we've just been defeated by Israel in the grand final last night in the gold medal match. And you got really hurt playing this game. Yeah, uh, about a week ago, I broke my nose in the, uh, the opening match. But I played through, I'm pretty tough. I've had, I've had an unbelievable time. I'm lucky enough to find the love of my life here. And, uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully the relationship can flourish. A one-time Maccabia participant is basketball legend Tal Brody, who today is part of the Maccabia leadership. The level of all the Jewish athletes worldwide, especially in the United States, is getting back up to where it should be. But I think the main thing is that we're sending a lot of goodwill ambassadors back home that have seen Israel, love Israel, they feel a part of Israel, they're part of that history, they're part of that culture. I feel the same spirit and goose pimples that I had the first time that I was uh, in the seventh Maccabea Games with Mark Spitz that broke all the records in swimming. And I think that's, that spirit is here. I feel it and I, I see it in the eyes of all the uh, participants. Israel, I think, is the center of whatever is happening in this world today. It's been a never a dull moment in the 48 years that I've been here since the Maccabea Games that I came. And it's been a beautiful experience. Many Maccabiah records were broken during the 10-day event, but only two athletes could go home with the best athletes of the Games trophy. It's amazing. It was a crazy week, so hard, and I'm so happy to win this. I trained in the last few months, like 20 hours every week, in swim, bike and run, and try to be the best. The Maccabiah, it's going to be a big step uh, up to be in the Olympics. It's a privilege to be here. The people cheering in the streets, running through the dark, running through the night, the heat, the hills, it was amazing. And then it was time for the main event as the lawn at Teddy Stadium filled up with thousands of the Maccabiya participants. Tonight in our show Song of Songs, we will connect to our music. Some of Israel's biggest names performed on the main stage, starting with DJ Ofer Nisim, who gave a number that included dancing Orthodox Jews hopping on tables and chairs. Next, it was time for duo TYP with their hit song, D-I-S-C-O. Talk to singer Ivry Leader from the duo on how it felt to perform around the world when everyone knows you're from Israel. Our audience doesn't really care where we're from, you know. They know we're, we're coming from Tel Aviv and they know we're coming from Israel. They don't care, you know. They like us for the music, for the image, for the, the things we say. They don't care, you know. So they don't care if their government is in contact with our government because it's not us, you know, it's not about us. French-Israeli avant-garde artist Reef Cohen was up next as she came on stage with a very unique accessory, a litten up chandelier. <laughs> we 
When Balkan Beatbox came on, they brought with them a stage full of retired ballroom dancers to dance along to their music. Next, it was time for hard rock band Orphanland, who is enjoying huge success in Turkey and in some of the Arab-speaking countries, as they told us while getting ready for their performance at the Maccabiya. Uh, we uh, play a lot in Turkey and they love us, and Turkey is like a bridge for all the countries uh, around that uh, cannot uh, enter Israel and such. And uh, every show that we are going there, they're like coming and meet us and everyone from Lebanon, from Iraq, from all over. The Middle East. They uh, take picture with us. They, uh, they even uh, take picture with our flag. You know, with the Israel flag. It's it's something huge. We do feel as Israeli ambassadors uh, because, in a way, we are more known and popular abroad rather than in Israel. For us, the special thing about a performance like that is to actually perform locally in Israel. <laughs> concluded with the psychedelic trance music duo Infected Mushroom. And now that everything has been said and done, the closing ceremony has almost ended and the planning for the next Maccabiya that will take place in 2017 has already begun. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson at the 19th Maccabiya closing ceremony at Teddy Stadium in Jerusalem. <laughs>